Hello and welcome back to another video. This is a revision question video for the lesson Change in State of Matter. There will be three videos with one question each. And this is part one. If you have any difficulties in understanding this lesson, please check my previous videos. I will put the link in the description. If you are new to my channel, please like, subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you get notified every time I post. There will be delays when I am posting videos because I have to do this with my studies and the job. So please understand and please continue to support me by clicking the like button and commenting. There are two other videos for this lesson with two more questions which is part 2 and part 3. Please watch them after this video to get an idea what questions will be asked and how to answer them. Please stay tuned until the end as I will be giving tips on how to answer these kind of question and I am revising the lesson as well. Now let's get into the question. St Question 1. The graph shows the heating curve for a pure substance. The temperature rises with time as the substance is heated. This is the heating curve they are talking about. The y-axis is the temperature. The x-axis is the time. And in this graph they have marked four points A, B, C and D. In part A, they ask what physical state is the substance in at point A, B, C and D. They are talking about these points A, B, C, D. In part B, what is the melting point of the substance? I hope you know what the melting point is and what the change occurs in a melting point. So then it will be easy for you to answer this question. Same goes with part C as well because they are asking what is the boiling point of the substance. Part D, what happens to the temperature while the substance is changing state. Part E, the substance is not water. How do we know this from the graph? All these questions are based on this graph. If you have any idea or any understanding about this heating curve, I think you can answer these questions very easily. So if you have any idea and know the answers, Please post the video and answer it by yourself. Then after that we can discuss the answers together and you can correct your answers. Okay, now if you have done the answers, let's get into the discussion of the answers. Before explaining you the question, I want to explain you what this heat curve is because I think some of you might not have any idea of what this is. There are two types of curves, heating curve and cooling curve. These both curves, as you can see, are drawn for the substance water. This heating curve is when the water is boiled and the cool curve is drawn when the substance water is cooled down. This is the difference between these two curves. As you can see, here the temperature rises and here the temperature decreases. So the 
state changes are also different. It's melting, boiling and here it is condensation and freezing. For this question, we are talking about the heating curve. So let me explain you the heating curve more in a detailed way. The cooling curve also has the same theory. So if you understand the heating curve, the cooling curve is also easy. In this graph, there are horizontal lines, which shows that the temperature is constant with the time or with the heat added. These lines is when the state change is occurring. And these lines where the slanted lines or the increasing areas show that the substance is being heated. As you can see here, water being heated as a solid. That means in this area, the water is ice. So it is being heated up to zero. Then at zero, it starts to melt to water or liquid state. Then again, it starts to heat and then it is being heated as a liquid and then it reaches 100 degrees Celsius which is the boiling point of water and then again a phase change occurs which is when the liquid turns to a gas then when the heat is continued the water is being heated as a gas Now let's get into the question. I hope you understood what the heating curve is. So now you can answer these questions. Part A. What physical state is the substance in at point A, B, C and D? Now we discussed in the question, uh, sorry, in the heating curve, what these points mean. Let's go with the easy one first. The B and D. It's the horizontal line. Which I told you are the phase changes. So during this point B and D, we have to assume that the substance exists in two mediums. Which is in point B, which is the melting one. It is solid and liquid because this point B is placed halfway in the line. It hasn't still been completed. So the solid is not entirely turned to a liquid. So at point B the substance exists as both solid and water. Part D also the same theory part in the point D also is placed in the middle so the liquid is not entirely changed to a gas so the answer is at point D the substance exists as liquid and gas for part A and C as you know for part A it is solid and part C it is liquid because here the phase change has completed and the solid is completely changed to a liquid so point C it is liquid and A it is already a solid the answers are A solid B solid plus liquid here C liquid D liquid plus gas Part B. What is the melting point of the substance? Let me explain you what is melting point. Melting point is when the liquid, sorry, the solid turns to a liquid. So according to this graph, it is at this point where this A, the solid, changes to liquid so this is the phase change this horizontal line 
so the melting temperature is 17 degrees Celsius so the melting point of the substance is at point B at 17 degrees Celsius part C what is the boiling point of the substance Boiling point is when liquid turns to a gas. So this is the point where this liquid turns to a gas. So the boiling temperature is 150 degrees Celsius. So according to the graph, it is point B at 150 degrees Celsius. Part D. What happens to the temperature while the substance is changing state? Now, as I have explained previously in the heating curve, these horizontal lines show the phase change or when the substance changes its state. So, according to this graph, this is a horizontal line, which means that the temperature is constant with the time until the phase change is completed. As you can see here, it's a horizontal line. That means the temperature is constant while the time is increasing. Even here it is the same. During the evaporation or the boiling, the temperature is constant. So the answer is temperature remains the same until the phase change is completed. Final part. The substance is not water. How do we know this from the graph? We have to determine this through this boiling temperature and the melting temperature because for any substance, the heating curve or the cooling curve has the same structure but these temperatures are the difference. So we have to consider these temperatures. The melting temperature of water is not 17, it is 0 degrees Celsius. And the boiling temperature of water is 100 degrees Celsius, not 115. So this comparison shows that this graph is not drawn for the substance water. This is the answer from the melting point and the boiling points. The melting point and boiling point of water is 0 degree Celsius and 100 degree Celsius respectively. But in this graph, the melting point is 17 degree Celsius and 150 degree Celsius. This marks the end of this question. If you have any further questions, please comment them down below. I will be happy to answer your questions or oh, I can make a different video for all your questions. Please like, comment, share and subscribe my YouTube channel. If you found this useful, please share it to your friends as well. The best preparation for tomorrow is doing your best today. Thank you and see you again in part 2.